Hi you guys, this is Dr. Nikki and I just want to talk about math running records. I know a lot of people have started doing them. I'm super excited. They're being translated into Spanish, they've been translated into French. You know, people are doing them around the United States and they are the GPS of math fluency assessment. They will tell you exactly where your kids are and they will help provide a pathway of where they need to go. It's all research based and the research is actually all throughout the book. So if you look at the table of contents, the first thing we do is an overview of what running records are. And then, the, then we go right into what is an addition running record and how do you do it? And then we go into what is a subtraction running record and how do you do it? And then we do a multiplication and then we do a division. Now, one of the cool things that I really like about the book, my friends pushed me into doing this and it was it just turned out to be so good, is that the, at the end of each section, there is a whole piece on the research. So you can go back and say, okay, what do we know about addition? And it'll tell you, you know, who said what, when, how, and then it gives you things to think about, right? So remember, my friend Annalise always says that speed has hijacked fluency. And so we want to think about how do we really get kids to be fluent and what does that really mean? I always say that fluency is a four-legged stool, right? That it's about kids having flexibility and efficiency and accuracy and yes instant recall when you know they have spent a lot of time learning it they will get that automaticity automaticity is absolutely necessary but it's not the only thing and it shouldn't be the primary focus and so in math running records you learn how to assess for all of those four um, things and you also learn what to do because that's the big question okay now I know where my kids are what do I do next and in the book we talk about that so how do you actually level the teaching of fluency though so that you know all oh, my kids are stuck on doubles what do I do oh well you could do some flashcard games and you could do some domino games and you could do some dice games to help your kids and you could do some board games right so in the book we actually talk about not only how do you get your kid how do you know where your kids are but then what do you do with your kids next so i really encourage you if you haven't yet read math running records in action it will change the landscape of what you are doing in fluency it will help you to know where your kids are so you can get them to go where they need to go as always happy mathing dr nikki